welcome to Shaw Stadium, home of the Shaw High School football team. And believe it or not, this stadium is one of the birthplaces of the St. Louis Rams. And a lot of this structure is still intact from when the then Cleveland Rams played a season here. So let's take a tour of some of the St. Louis Rams history. The Rams called Cleveland home from 1936 to 1945, nabbing the franchise's first NFL championship in the final year. And Shaw Stadium was home for just one of those seasons back in 1938. Now it plays host to the Shaw High School varsity football team, led by head coach and resident stadium historian Rodney Brown. What we were doing we were trying to get the grassroots grant from the NFL. So I thought it would be important to know a little history about the stadium so we could present a total package of um, how long it's been here, when it was erected, the history of it, why it would be important to try to preserve it. The stadium was built in 1923 and would seat more than 10,000 people. Factoring in the stands and equipment, the facility cost approximately $100,000 to build or $1.3 million in today's dollars. At that time, the stadium was more like, sort of like a horseshoe where we're standing now where stands in the end zone, this would, this would have been the east end zone right here. Um, the back wall there, in, in actuality, that's the original wall also. Back inside the wall there, they put up, they would erect wooden stands and, until, uh, I'll say about 10 years ago, we still, we still had those stands. We, of course, we didn't use them. Some major reconstruction happened in 55 and that's when the stands there were knocked down to from the original size to the size there. Now it was still 100 yards, which is very rare because um, you look at most stands down, they're like from the 30 to the 30. The other sites used for Cleveland Rams games, League Park and Cleveland Municipal Stadium, have been demolished. So much of Shaw is original that moving into the heart of the stadium is like stepping back in time. the tunnel that led to the home locker rooms and this is I'll show you where the locker room where the um, Cleveland Rams were. This is the original beams right here. These are the original beams constructed in 1929 right here. Wow. But this is the original locker room that they had um, back there. Uh, the, the lockers came, those lockers right there came in 55 when they did the, the, the first initial um, But the walls, the beams, the, the size walls, of beams, it is all what it was. Everything's original. This is, this, is, this is how it is. High schoolers aren't known for their appreciation of history, but apparently a pro team using your locker room is a big deal, even if it was more than 75 years ago. They get the wow, the wow effect initially, because when I tell them a real professional football team and real professional football players, sat where you're sitting now and, and shared the same locker room. I tell them, you know, how even though this is an old structure that's decaying, just the history of it and what it meant to this community and how we still have to try to preserve it as best we can. Another man working to preserve the Cleveland Rams history is Donald Grease, the owner of an impressive memorabilia collection. This is the cover of a newspaper when the Rams won the championship in 1945. This was the actual press pen that they made, that they gave to the media for the 45 championship. Bob Waterfield was the quarterback for the Rams in 45 when they won, and he married a famous actress named Jane Russell. Uh, so I guess in LA that, uh, you know, that was just sort of standard, but right. you know, when he in was Cleveland. in Cleveland, that was sort of a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> this was one of the uh, certificates, but attached to it is an original a uh, piece of letterhead from the Cleveland Rams, which shows the original logo. And he would know because for Greece, the memorabilia and stadium are about more than marking the history of sports, Cleveland, or even the NFL. It's about family. He's the grandson of Bob Grease, one of the original founders and owners of the team. This is actually a, a, a debt certificate of convertible notes that all the owners together got together and it shows actually how much. This was my grandfather's only $1,250 when 
was his percentage to have to put in uh, back then in the 30s. And, and what's it like for you looking around at the stadium and knowing this is somewhere that this, this franchise played? And I mean, now it's a high school stadium, but there's still so much of it that is original. Yeah, it's very historic. Uh, I've never been here, and just the chance to come here and look at it now and, and try to envision what it must have been like back then in the 30s. It's really cool to know that this stadium still exists and is still here. A solid foundation for a young franchise, even if it was only for a year. Casey Phillips, Rams Broadcasting Network.